Hi everyone, welcome to another coloring from Escape to Oz book. After I finished China Wall picture, I made another unexpected choice of picture to do next. Actually, I wanted to do next spread with the Kansas landscape, but somehow I finished doing this ugly spider. It's not that I like spiders, but sometimes they can add something interesting, something challenging to the picture. Or maybe I was a little bit tired of coloring sweet bunnies and cute kittens. So today I will be coloring spider. I decided that I don't want to make him black or uh, dark brown and instead I decided that spider will have a uh, light gray fur. So it will be better if I would surround it with dark background. In this way spider will look more dramatically. So for the f background first I tried to use Turner acrylic gouache. I hoped that matte and opaque finish by Turner gouache would help me to create a nice, interesting background. But unfortunately, I started to work with Prussian blue. It was too light. I didn't have darker blue color in my set. So after a couple of minutes, I switched to watercolors. I selected two watercolor paints. One is my favorite blue. It's White Nights in the Thread Blue. It's very deep, very beautiful blue color. And together with it, I will be using granulating watercolor. It's Dusk Purple by Royal Talents Van Gogh. Granulating means that on the paper it creates beautiful, very decorative stains. So when you work with this dusky purple, Depending from the amount of water which you add to the watercolor, you can get from one paint colors from gray to purple and to pink, and they also create beautiful and interesting stains. Sometimes I used them separately, sometimes I mixed them in different proportions, so on the background I got some deep blue and some violet and some purple areas. I tried that the head of the spider would be surrounded by dusky purple to attract more attention to this area. And also I didn't want to lose those words on the right page, so I decided that the background on the left around the spider will be dark and I applied um, a lot of paint and a small amount of water to get a really deep color. But around the words I used very diluted paint. I added a lot of water and together with dusk purple water co watercolor um, it created quite interesting effect. I wasn't happy that some of the most interesting animals are situated in the central part near the spine of the book, but I hope that I still will manage to color them. I decided that to color tree and grass and leaves isn't very interesting for me. Uh, I don't want to do it with pencils, I want to save my time. So I decided that these parts, these elements, I also will be coloring with watercolors. For the spider, I decided to use several polychromos cold gray pencils from cold gray 2, which is very light, to cold gray 6, which is almost black. And together with them, I decided to use a warmer um, gray color, but I'm not very happy with warm grays in polychroma set, so I decided to use Prisma color Party Beige. Another problem here is that apart from my gray spider, I will need to do a lot of gray animals and birds. Here we have owls, lemur, wolf, 
rabbit and for all of them I will also need to use gray colors. I thought that maybe for all of them I will be using French grays or warm grays, so it will be different with cold gray color of the spider. But still I decided that my spider has to have more dramatic look, so in the end I added a little bit of polychromos cream and uh, a little bit of pale yellow gouache paints. I think that I simply didn't want to make my spider to look totally disgusting and I hoped that soft cream color will help my spider to look more charming. I hope that you like my start of this spread. It was very refreshing to work with watercolors after so many pages done only with colored pencils, so I really enjoyed it and I definitely will be doing another spread from this book. And I hope to see you in the second part where I will be coloring all animals and birds.